Question 12 continues. And again, part C has no connection, really, with the part A and the B at all. It's like a brand new question. We're now looking at two brand new frustrums. And they are similar. So I've got a frustrum here. And another one here. And they are perfectly similar. Now the word similar actually means enlargement. It's another word for enlargement. Now there are two approaches to this question. One rather long-winded way. And one much shorter. Now the much shorter way is the way I'm going to look at it. If you recognise that it's an enlargement question, then you look and look at scale factors of enlargement. A shape that's enlarged by scale factor 2, all the sides will be twice as long. An enlargement by scale factor 3, all the sides will be three times as long. But the areas, well, let's write that down. If the scale factor was 3, then in fact any area would be 9 times bigger. And any volume would be 27 times bigger. The scale factor is only talking about distances like the radius, the diameter, the height, the circumference. If you have a scale factor of 3, all of those things would be multiplied by the scale factor 3, if the scale factor was 3. I'm not saying it is for this question. And if the scale factor was 3, then any area would be increased by 9 times, which is 3 squared. And any volume would be increased by 27, which is 3 cubed. So let's look at this question. Let's call that the small one, let's call that the big one. Seems quite a reasonable thing to do. The base radius of the small one is 40, and the base radius of the large one is 50. So we can say the ratio of their sides, their radiuses, their diameters, their heights, their circumferences are all the same ratio of 4 to 5. Now if the ratio of their lengths, widths, heights, radius is 4 to 5, that's called the scale factor, or the scale ratio. But the area will be 4 squared to 5 squared. That will be the ratio of their areas. So we're told the surface area of the larger frustrum is 550. We're trying to find out the area, surface area of the smaller frustrum. So, using the information I've got there, if I divide that by 25 and multiply by 16, I'll be finding out my surface area of the smaller one, of the smaller frustrum. So, we will use the calculator. 550 Five. Where are you? Ah, oh, the button's got stuck. Just what I need. Five, five. Oh, you need that in the middle of an exam, wouldn't you? Divided by twenty-five, multiplied by sixteen. So that is the surface area of the uh, smaller frustrum. And again, let's not forget those units, and it's a square centimetre units. So the word similar was the key to that question, to recognise that in fact it's an enlargement question, and then appreciating the connection between the enlargement scale factor of the radiuses, 
which gave us the scale factor connection between any sort of length and then the area scale factor. Right, let's see what the marking is. Well, it's not terribly generous. It's one mark for appreciating the scale factor and area factor and then another mark for actually working out the surface area of the smaller frustrum.